I got into scooters around seven years old, I'm pretty sure. And then that progressed and I was obsessed as you'd call it. Yeah, that just paid off and it kept it going to where I am today. My name is Jaden Sharman. I'm 18 years old. Around the time when I'm riding the most and at the most competitions, I'm at the skate park around five, six times a week for about two to three hours, just going straight ham. <laughs> I think that's like the main purpose for myself is just being the best person I can be in the skate park, inspiring as many kids as I can. Yeah, just pushing myself to the limits really. The gym work is something that I believe a lot on, especially with scooting. I think a lot of people rely on just pure talent, taking some time and focusing on the gym as well. A strong lower body can help impact and help jumping up and all this stuff. And a stronger upper body is whipping the scoot around as fast as you can. So I think they're both equally as important. Not many people do take time out outside of it to go to the gym. Like it's all, they're still really talented people, but they haven't got that edge compared to people that do train outside of it. So that's kind of like what gives me the edge a little bit. <laughs> Mindset for me is probably one of the biggest things and it's developed a lot as I've grown. You get so wound up in it and you think that because of all the attention I've had as a kid, I think I should be winning this or I should be. Then you go to drop in and it's like, you kind of just get so wound up in all these nerves and pressure, it just really can affect your performance. So, but I found that removing expectations like that is, you know, it removes all the nerves and removes all the pressure. So, and I think I just kind of have the confidence in my own abilities and in what I can do to really provide the performance to be the best suddenly went from being in the midfield to being UK champion. It's like, it's quite, a, it's almost a bit of a shock, but at the same time, like, I believe that's where I should be, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a really dangerous sport. Once you have a bad fall and you hurt yourself, you then realize, well, this could happen anytime, anywhere. So you're, it plays in your mind a lot, you know. Number one in the world is definitely the ultimate goal. Not just for me, just to be the best, but the coaching that I do would help a lot to other kids if I'm you know, known to be the best in the world. So giving back is like, ultimately like, you, you don't get a better feeling than that really, do you? It's just like, and especially when you achieve so much yourself or like learn so much about the process that you're doing, you, you don't want to just keep that within you. You know, you want to help other people. Almost believe that you are the best and then it kind of like, pays off on the on the skate park you know like if you think you're the best and you'll ride with such confidence and that really sets you apart